Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I will be talking about how can we include a file name while writing into the data frame. So for an example, we have this data. Okay, you can see the file is present in this location and the data look like this. Now what I want to do, I want to read this data, uh, I mean data file into my data frame. So for that what I will do, I will write here the code, let's say df is equal to spark.read.csv and that location and here I will mention option headers comma 2. Cool. And here what I will do, I will copy this path and paste it over here. And what I will do, okay. Let me run this first and here this is the schema id name code. Now uh, what I want to do is that I want to I want to include one column which will tell me the file name. Okay, which will tell me the file name. So see like this is the uh, this is the dummy data table and this is partition by date part column. Okay, and here what I want to do I want to uh, I want to you know I want to uh, save my data frame or save my table with this date part column I mean you know if it is 20, 23, 0, 1, 16 it could be 0, 1, 17 for tomorrow's and for day after tomorrow it could be you know uh, 0, 1, 7, 18 and so on so what I want to do I want to store the name like this okay so see how would you do that the question is how would you would how would you do that uh, so what we can do see now I will create one more data frame df1 and here I will write df dot with column and uh, let's say date part name and uh, date part only the column name is this and here I will use input input underscore file underscore name and since I am using this function I need to call it so I will write not call it I mean I need to import it so I will write here from pyspark dot sql dot functions import this function now if I see df1 then you can see there is a date part date part uh, column also present but the format is a string now let me see the data inside this data frame for that I will write display df1 now you can see uh, the like I used uh, this input file name right and since so see it is stored all I mean the, the complete part path correct what I want to do is that I want to only only uh, get this date part right so for that now you can see the the path the path is uh, concatenated by this backslash forward slash right so what I can do I can use a split function cool and here I will use a split this by slash cool and now let me run this if I do this then you can see sorry there's some mistake input file name this is one cool, sorry now let me run this again and now it is like kind of array right so if I uh, run, run this display df1 then you can see that in the date part column we have an array now you can see we or uh, we need this fourth number always because the path is fixed right so the path is fixed so what I can do I can I can here specify that I need fourth column okay now if I run this now you will see that you know we got this but see in the date part column I do not want this date 
part is equal to date part date underscore part is equal to i need only value i need i do not need the uh, key kind of thing right so the simple way is that like this could be solved by many uh, by by many approach but uh, i will be using again a split a split comma slash not some slash this and 0 2 no sorry one and here one more one more bracket this is one this is one one minute uh, this is one correct and I need to remove this now let me run this cool now if I do display df1 then we have this data but you can see again the date part is in string format I need to convert this into the uh, date column right so I need to include date to date function and here I will just write to date and then run it now you can see date part is present with the date uh, with the date uh, type okay now it seems correct now i can save it by using you know df dot write some methods we have it right okay likewise you can you can also you, you know like now you can modify based so suppose you do not want you do not want this date part column you want this dummy data column then you can maybe write this three now if i do this then you will get null because i am using here two date i do not need two date column right in this case so let me run it again and if i do this uh, display df1 again then you can see we have proper, sorry there's something okay now i do not want also this in that case right i do not want two splits i only want one split now if i run this then you can see we have this dummy data in this column now now see let me write it down again okay okay leave it what i will do what i'm gonna do is that if i remove all these things and uh, if i remove this you know this index number and if i run this again and if i show you then you can see you know we have this date part column in this array so right now i'm specifying fourth okay fourth index likewise you can specify minus two will work should work actually let's see here it is coming null i'm not sure why it is coming null let shall i use this No, this is not a function. Uh, minus two. Okay, if I if I use here minus one, then probably I will get. I will get here. The name. Okay. It is not coming right. So maybe like I am missing something, or else you know I need to convert this into first array and then only i can i can use use this thing use this trick could be the case i'm not sure uh you know you know you 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 can you can convert this into array and then you can use this split method okay cool now you know in in some of the cases you need only the file name let's say you need only the file name then what you can do you can simply you can simply write you know either minus one or else you if you the path is specified then you can use here six or you can see the length of this split function you can also use that also right so this is the way how you can it's not uh, okay now let me remove this again
This is the fifth number, right? Fifth number, correct? So I can write here five. Now you will see the magic. Cool. Or what you can do? Suppose you want uh, you want the type of the file. Then also you can do this. You know you can uh, split by dot, and then you can extract the CSV. Okay. Like there 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 could be many many requirement based on that you can use this function. Okay. And I hope you have got this. And if you have liked this video, please do like and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. Bye bye. Thank you.